Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. I'm just going to show you my um, small collection of Battle of the Planets. I bought this years ago when it first came out. This was for the Battle of the Planets trading cards, but I never got the cards. I just bought the folder and I never got a chance to get, get around to get the cards and I wish I had done it. I'm not sure what they're worth now, if they're going up in price or if you can still get them. But I'm going to look on Amazon or somewhere, eBay maybe might have them. But this is the folder that I could order, that you could order for previews years ago. But like I said, this is the whole thing here from Dynamic, Dynamic Forces. It shows it there. And here's the back. And it's the covers of the comic books that they had back then. Different variants and stuff like that. But I thought it was very cool. I think. I'm not sure if that's the whole, what artist that is. Looks familiar though. Cool. That looks like Scott Campbell. Hey, Scott Campbell, this is another guy. Pat Lee, I'm not sure if that's him or not. And this is cool too. There's another cover. And another cover. So, but that's that. And I'm going to show you what I have inside here. Like, I don't, I kept them in here, but um, it's been protecting them okay. But I've tried to watch to make sure enough they don't get bent up or anything like that. Because, you know, I don't keep a lot of comics in folders and everything. I'd rather keep them in boxes. But since I only had a few of these, I just kept them in this thing. But uh, this is Battle of the Planets number, uh, like, a preview of uh, with a sketchbook and everything like that. But I'm just going to show this. This is just a video to show you what I have. And I'll, I'm going to go flip through all these books so you can see what the artwork looks like inside. But um, this is uh, the Certificate of Authenticity on the back. It came like from Dynamic Forces with the sticker and everything on it. And Dynamic, Dynamic Forces has issued this certificate to authenticate the copy of Battle of the Planet Sketchbook Preview Number 1. It's as one of a specifically um, limited series of 3,000 copies. So I got 2,522. That's that one. Well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna flip through this later, but just to show you what the artwork is and what I have so far. I think that they use pastels or colored pencils to color this cover, that was pretty cool. So I'll put that there. And this one is another half that uh, came out. This came out from Wizard, Battle of the Planets. And you could only get this by ordering it through Wizard. That was cool. But um, this is showing Certificate of Authenticity. Battle of the Planets Half was available only through a special offer in Wizard, the comics magazine. Um, what's it say? 132. Each copy is part of a limited edition, which was distributed in a special protector holder with a copy of the certificate. There it is. I remember Garib Seamus? Matt Hawkins. You see it has a little, it's resealable and it's a little thicker. Everything than a regular bag. So, but that's that with an Alex Ross cover. And here's another Alex Ross cover here. This was a special book too. This is book number one of Battle of the Planets. It's got the red sticker there. They're not worth a lot of money, but um, they were special back then when these came out. Um, this has the little sticker on the back. This has a certificate of authenticity as well. This is number one, 1744 out of, let me see how many, out of 7,000 copies they made. Wow. So there's some still out there. I've checked mycomicshop.com and they have some on there. But that's that. And here's the gold foil cover. I spent, I think, maybe 20 bucks or something. I had 15, 20 bucks on this years ago when it came out. But see, here's the gold cover. I never got the chance to get the blue cover. I wanted, there's a blue foil cover that came out. But it's not on half or my comic shop .com either. I just checked. But um, it's the same cover. 
what this one's saying. Um, the gold foil cover. It's, um, they made 900, 1,978 copies. I got number 351 out of that. For the gold cover, and see the sticker, special sticker on there. And here is a hollow foil cover, they call it, with Alex Ross's artwork on it. This is pretty much near mint. The only thing happened, I dropped it a long time ago and I put that little ding on the side there. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, I couldn't believe it. But um, I'll try to get another copy. I think they're they're not very expensive. That's nothing on the back there, but it came in a thick uh, plastic cover. See, it's got wizard on it and everything. It came in a thick plastic cover, it's resealable. And that's a special issue of number one there. And then here is issue number one by Michael Turner. And it's not really worth a lot. At one time, they were worth a lot of money, but they've gone down in price a lot. Maybe, I guess the condition might matter about it, but um, that's number one with that. Michael Turner. J. Scott Campbell did a special cover. Mark Silvestri did a cover for number one. It was really cool, but you can still get them on. I'm going to order the rest of them if I can off of mycomicshop.com. This is the cover by uh, Alex Ross for number two. It's so cool to see him drawing them like realistically and everything. And then, um, and then I missed on, out on getting the other covers. I remember trying to pick them up, and they were all sold out. Like when I was looking for them, by the time I tried to get them all. But this is number six. I got to get number. I ordered three, four, and five off of mycomicshop.com. They got Alex Ross covers and some of them are other variant covers, but those would be cool. They, he did all the characters everything but that's cool number six of that one everything and then here's number seven and there's ten books all together so these are all cool and no special covers are resealable bags and everything and then the last thing I have in here is the art book that Alex did Battle of the Planets art book, number one. You see Image Comics put it out years ago. Everything, but this was really nice too. But I'll do a flip through for this as well. But when I get when I get a chance to do it. But see this it used to, it was supposed to hold all the all the cards. But I never bought them. Everything, but hopefully maybe one day I, I will be able to get them and everything and keep them in here. But I just wanted to show you that real quick. Hopefully you like that. Anybody that, that grew up with uh, Battle of the Planets and everything and uh, Transformers and stuff like that knows all of these um, cartoons. These were awesome when we were kids. G.I. Joe and stuff like that and He-Man and what's all the other ones. These are, that's a superhero one, suit like Super Friends and different things like that. But that's all of these. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any of these books and if you want to pick them up and everything. I think I'm going to go online. If I can get multiples of them, I'm going to order. This one's on mycomicshop.com. This is the Halo cover. I think I'm going to order a few of them because they're like $6.40 at mycomicshop.com. I like to order a few of them and have them for contest giveaways because that's not a lot of money. And I've never seen these out in the wild anywhere. So, Because if I did, I'd pick them up right away. But um, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any of these and everything. Um, just uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for my subscribers again. Um, eventually, hopefully, I'll get some stuff going on and everything like that. And you'll see more stuff as I do this. But uh, again, thank you. You guys have a great day. Collect a dude out.